has been asked in your uh, UPSC examination in 2015. Uh, which among the following pairs of Indian states of India indicates the easternmost and the westernmost state? Assam and Rajasthan, Arunachal Pradesh and Rajasthan, Assam and Gujarat, and Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat. Right. The answer is D. This is Gujarat. And here you have your you have the Arunachal Pradesh. So the eastern and the western most section. Apart from, apart from UPSC, the questions on longitude and latitude have also been asked in the other examination. Okay. So what are the questions? What are the type of questions that have been asked in the other examination? The Tropic of Cancer does not pass through which of the following states? The answer is A here. Apart from this, this one, it's a basic one about the latitude, which of the following is the longest parallel of latitude? Uh, nobody would say the answer. Uh, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle and Equator. The answer is Equator. Sabse bada parallel of latitude has been asked. Okay. This is the uh, question that have been asked. Okay. Uh, they, they, these are the following characteristics of a state. Identify the state that the Tropic of Cancer passes through uh, this uh, state. The state has north, more north to south extension. The state has international borders with Bangladesh and Myanmar. Identify the state. Tripura, Mizoram, Nagaland and Manipur. If you look at the northeastern side of India carefully, you would notice that you would notice that if I draw, if I draw the map of India, the northeastern map of India, okay, this is Sikkim. This is Sikkim. Okay, uh, we have Bangladesh here. Okay, uh, we have Arunachal Pradesh here. We have Myanmar here. We have Bangladesh here, right? We have China here. If you look at a four, your northeastern state, northeastern state is called as what? Seven sisters, one brother. Seven sister, one brother. So northeastern state has Sikkim, Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Tripura. Yes, Tripura. Right. So these are the eight. Eight one. Of this, of these eight, ye Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram. These are sharing border with Myanmar. That is your Aruna Mami. Aruna Mami shares border with Myanmar. Aruna Mami means Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram. If you carefully observe, if you carefully observe, if you carefully observe Tripura. Tripura is entirely jutted into Bangladesh. Pura ka pura Tripura is entirely jutted into your Bangladesh. So here, the answer is, which are, the state has international border with Bangladesh and Myanmar. Okay. So this is, this goes wrong because it is not sharing border with Myanmar. So what border with Myanmar is Aruna Mami. Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram. And Mizoram is sharing border with both of them. So this one, the state share the borders with both of them. So here, if you look at the northeastern states, the northeastern states of India, these are the northeastern state, Arunachal Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, and this is Tripura. Tripura is entirely into Bangladesh. The entire territory is into the Bangladesh. Okay, so the answer was Mizoram there. This is also about the borders and Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Cancer and knowing ki Konsa international borders we have in the northeastern state. The next question is this. Uh, with respect to the uh, time zone of India, there is only a one a standard time for the whole of the country. Andaman and Nicobar have different time zones. The Indian standard time is five and a half hours behind the Greenwich Meridian time. Behind. India is a time zone. 
the north in northeast the sun rises as early as four o'clock, but still the office would start at nine o'clock. the The daylight is not as effectively utilized. Northeastern states they are asking for what do we say as chai bagan time, the chai bagan time zone. That is a two hours early from the Indian standard time. But then there are debates. कि क्या करें देना चाहिए कि नहीं देना चाहिए one one section says give that because we will save electricity there would be more productivity of the employees but then there are other sections saying that it is against national integration the whole nation follows one time zone moreover when you separate when you separate have a separate time zone aapke rail accidents ke chances badh jayenge because you'll have to modify that thirdly it will give a symbol that that northeastern section is a different from india and then there can be further secessionist movements this is the first question that i was asked while i was giving a mock interview there are mock interviews so should india have a separate time zone right and you have to what what side should we uh, take the side that you should take is what is the mainstream side that is going on right so i said yes there are concerns but as of now we have only one time zone and that is working fine so let it be like that okay so पॉइंट इज जब आप कोई भी आइडिया बता रहे हैं यू आर गिविंग एन पॉइंट ऑफ यू यू शुड हैव जस्टिफिकेशन दैट व्हाई आर यू सेइंग सो बोथ प्रोस एज वेल एज कॉन्स एंड वी डू नॉट हैव डिफरेंट टाइम जोन फॉर एनी नॉट इवन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स नॉट इवन दी आई सो टू गेट्स रॉन्ग देयर द इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम इज फाइव एंड हाफ आवर्स बिहाइंड इफ यू आर ऑन द ईस्टर्न साइड एज वी आर ऑन द ईस्टर्न साइड इट इज अहेड रैदर देन बिहाइंड द आंसर इज वन ओनली ठीक है यस हाँ वाई डू कंट्रीज लाइक फ्रांस इंग्लैंड रशिया दे हैव डिफरेंट टाइम जोन इज दे हैव बीन कॉलोनियल पावर दे हैव वेरियस आइलैंड आल्सो राइट एंड दे आर आल्सो द गुड दे आर ग्रेट लैटिट्यूडल एक्सटेंड आल्सो द ईस्ट टू वेस्ट एक्सटेंड इज आल्सो ग्रेट बट चाइना स्टिल हैव वन ओके चाइना डिस्पाइट द ग्रेट ईस्ट टू वेस्ट एक्सटेंड चाइना स्टिल हैव वन टाइम जोन because that's the symbol of national integrity okay now moving on to the next question here m wants to this is an little applied question but a fairly easy one uh, so m wants to visit a place in the ut which is in a ut which is located at 34 degree north and 77 degree east uh, which of the following uts must he have plan andaman nikobar lakshwadeep puducherry ladakh 34 degree north hai andaman nicobar is 6 degree north okay 6 degree north se andaman nicobar starts uh, to let's say 14 degree north lakshwadeep it is 8 degree north to 12 degree north puducherry there are this is also in the southern side okay the only answer here is ladakh so beyond your tropic of cancer around 34 degree you have to move so the answer is ladakh all of you clear with this so these type of questions can be asked on your latitude and longitude this is the upsc question which of them following it separates the 10 degree channel it is andaman and nicobar okay yes 9 degree somebody was asking me 9 degree between minicoy and lakshwadweep between the minicoy and the other islands of uh, lakshwadweep other islands of lakshwadweep okay so this is the question that they have asked related to your general uh, general latitude west to west to east extent and they they have already asked this but they can also ask about the other channels now this is the question also they have asked this was a slightly difficult question uh, ki kaun sa hi latitude or longitude utha ke पूछ लिया था सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिटी अमंग यस नाउ यू नो द आंसर आई गेस अमंग द फॉलोइंग सिटीज विच वन लाइज ऑन द लॉन्गिट्यूड क्लोजेस्ट टू डेली लॉन्गिट्यूड बोलर ठीक है यस द आइडिया इज द आइडिया इज द क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉज हैविंग वेरी क्लोज ऑप्शन यूर यू हैव मुंबई ठीक है यूर यू हैव नासिक एंड पुणे ओके दिस इज योर चेन्नई this is bangaluru this is mangaluru okay 
Chennai, Bangalore, and Mangalore. The answer is here. Nagpur is also somewhere here only. Uh, the Hyderabad is also somewhere here. So closest one, the, the answers, the options that were given were very close. So now look at the point that I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make, they can, sim they can ask as easy question as the tropic of cancer kahan se pass hota hai. They can ask as easy question as west or east extent kya hai. Or they can also ask you a applied based question. This was a applied based question, but it was an easy one. Okay, it's applied based question puch lega. Again, this one, you can make silly mistakes if you don't read it properly. And they can also ask you the tough questions. What makes the question easy and tough is the uh, close options. Agar options bahut close hai, then the, then the question can become tough. Right. So it is about the options. Now, moving on. So these are the questions from the various examinations also that they have asked in your in your UPSC related examination. One suggestion that you can take is while you are uh, while you are done with your geography, don't simply solve UPSC CSE questions, but also like we have done NDA, CDS, CAPF. There are question papers available on the website itself. So you would get to know ki what kind of questions UPSC is asking. In him, India, Himalayas are spread over five states only. Western Ghats are spread over five states only. Fully cut is spread over two states only. So Himalayas, Himalayas, the major Himalayas. Jammu and Kashmir, pehle wala hai question. Hai, abhi states mein Jammu Kashmir aayega. Ladakh or you, Jammu Kashmir tab UT nahi the in 2017. So I'm going that way. Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. Sikkim, Arunachal, Pradesh. What about Darjeeling Hills? West Bengal region, also the Darjeeling Hills. So West Bengal ka Darjeeling Hills we uh, forget. So this statement is uh, incorrect. This statement is incorrect. What about Western Ghats? Western Ghats, they, they starts from West, Gujarat. Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. So this is also not correct. The answer is a pulley cut. Pulley cut is spread in two states only. The answer is B. Pulley cut, if you observe pulley cut, your, uh, this is your pulley cut. This is your pulley cut. This one. Sri Harikota Islands, pulley cut. A uh, pulley cut is between your Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Pulley cut is between two states only. That is Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. So the answer was B. Majorly Andhra Pradesh, around 87% of the area of pulley cut is in Andhra Pradesh. And only 13% is in Tamil Nadu. Right? Here. We have our, in Sri Harikota, we have our rocket. Rocket launching station. Rocket has to be on the, rocket launching should be on the eastern coast. Otherwise, uh, if there is some is happening, if it is on the western side, it will land up on the land. Otherwise, it will land up on the ocean if it is on the eastern side. Theek hai. Uh, eastern Ghats starts from Odisha. Theek hai. Mahindra Giri peak. The highest peak of eastern Ghats is in Odisha. Achha, in your, in your uh, UPSC examination in 2000. 18 or 19, they have asked Mahendra Giri range. They just asked Mahendra Giri. So you have a compulsory question, you know, na? in your paper too, there is a compulsory question wherein you have to mark 10 places. Your question number one, A, you have to mark 10 places. In that 10 places, they have once given Mahendra Giri. And Mahendra Giri is also there in Odisha. It is also there in Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu, you have a, a rocket propulsion uh, fuel center, Isroka. Okay. So Mahindra Giri is also in Odisha. Mahindra Giri is also in Tamil Nadu. Okay. So dono mark kar kya jana. Tamil Nadu wala bhi mark kar kya na aur Odisha wala bhi uh, mark kar kya na. You never know ki kis pe marks milega. Mahindra Giri is the highest peak of the Eastern Ghats, and it is also there in Tamil Nadu. One Mahindra Giri is also there in Tamil Nadu. Now this is also a question okay. from the ecological viewpoint, uh, which one of the following assumes a good link between the Eastern Ghats and the Western Ghats? We all know the good link between Eastern Ghats and Western Ghats is Nilgiri, Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. 
on nilgiri biosphere reserve we have some we have some tiger reserve we have some national parks okay shesha chalam to eastern ghats hai theek hai you can eliminate nalamala is also eastern ghats now for you to find out whether it is satyamala satyamangala or nagar road i will not say the answer so you find out whether it is a or c okay ye dekho nilgiri pe nilgiri jo hai वो वेस्टर्न घाट और ईस्टर्न घाट के बीच में है नीलगिरी इज ऑल्सो वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइड बाय यूनेस्को इट स्प्रेड्स अक्रॉस तमिलनाडु केरला एंड कर्नाटका एंड देर फोर योर वेस्टर्न घाट इज ऑल्सो देर इन योर तमिलनाडु इसमें नीलगिरी में देर आर सम इम्पोर्टेंट नेशनल पार्क देर आर सम इम्पोर्टेंट टाइगर रिजर्व सो नीलगिरी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व नीलगिरी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व इंक्लूड्स दीज ऑल नेशनल पार्क एंड टाइगर रिजर्व तो अरम अरलम मुदुमलाई नेशनल पार्क मुकुर्ति नेशनल पार्क नगरहोड़ नेशनल पार्क बांदीपुर नेशनल पार्क साइलेंट वैली नेशनल पार्क एंड दीज आर दी नेशनल पार्क दैट आर देयर इन नीलगिरी यू हैव वायनाड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी सत्यमंगलम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी एंड करीम पूजा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी हाँ यस पर अब वो बताना चाह रहे हैं कि कौन ज्यादा क्लोज है ठीक है सो सत्यमंगलम भी है एंड नागर होड़ भी है नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व पे बट बट अब इन दोनों में से कौन सा ज्यादा पास है टू सिग्निफाई दी मिंगलिंग ऑफ ईस्टर्न घाट्स एंड दी वेस्टर्न घाट्स सो दिस इज वॉट इज देयर इन योर नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व यू हैव दीज नेशनल पार्क एंड यू हैव दीज वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज अंट दैट आई कैन डू इज फाइंड आउट नागर होड़ नेशनल पार्क इज इन विच स्टेट एंड फाइंड आउट सत्यमंगलम Wild life centuries in which state, and then then you can get to the answer closely. Okay. Now this is the question. Another question of hills. Okay. You might not know entire coasts of India. You might not know the names of the entire coast of India. But still, by logically application, some logical application, you need not say the answer. Okay. By logical application, you can attempt in your mind. I will take the poll. Okay. Cardamom Hills, Coromandel Coast, Kaimur. hills in the konkan india mahadev hills in the central india mikir hills in the northeastern india we know mikir and northeastern india we know mahadev and central india 3 and 4 are definitely correct what is where is koromandel coast anybody this is your koromandel coast okay so this one The cardamom is near, not near your Coromandel coast. Cardamom is where in your uh, Kerala, in the Kerala. Okay, and Kaimur. Kaimur is what the extension of Vindhyas. So Konkan is this coast, our Rashtra Goa coast is the Konkan coast. But Vindhyas is here, so Kaimur is here. So these two are wrong, and the answer is three and four. Moving on, can you attempt a question? Can you can we try to attempt a question on this? Consider the following pattern. Are up to UPSC? Ye bhi nahi de ra. One only, two are correct, three are correct, all of them are correct, none of them are correct. That's the question they are giving now. ठीक है. No creek, Garo Hills is correct. If you look at Meghalaya, Meghalaya, Meghalaya is a plateau. It has Garo, Khasi, Jaintia. When you have Khasi, what is the capital of Meghalaya? Shillong. शिलोंग तो जब खांसी आती है तो लौंग खाते हैं ठीक है तो खांसी हिल्स पे शिलोंग है एंड गारो पे नोकरे ओके सो दिस इज करेक्ट इफ आई लुक एट लोकटक लेक लोकटक लेक इज इन मणिपुर ठीक है सो यू कैन गेट कंफ्यूज बट दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट ठीक है लोकटक लेक मणिपुर में है ठीक है लोकटक लेक is a floating national park it has a vegetation floating vegetation called as kumri on which there is a special type of deer the the deer actually seem if it is on the swamp it appears that the deer is a uh, dancing the of the deer is also called as dancing deer the name of the deer is a uh, sangai deer sangai a deer ah the sangai a deer is there in the uh, loktak lake the loktak lake is also your floating national park the floating national park loktak is a floating national park you have a deer species called as sangai deer uh, it is a it is a dance it is also called as dancing deer 
the floating national park is because of a special type of vegetation called as the of fumri vegetation the fumri vegetation let me know what is the status of this sangha deer are you see in status i will not say kuch to homework karo are you see in list hoti hai are you see and gives you a red list where it, it categorizes the species as vulnerable endangered critically endangered theek hai so find out what is the iucn status red list status of the sangai deer but this is incorrect if you also look at namdafa national park this is also incorrect namdafa national it it is something that will that will that you should know it is there in arunachal pradesh but it is not near dafla hills theek hai or where is where was dafla dear was dafla right dafla miri abhor mishmi here you have nam dafa so it is on the west side of arunachal pradesh dafla and the nam dafa national park is on the east side what is the point i am trying to make hill kahin aur padoge national park page number 36 pe hai ठीक है वो कहीं और पढ़ोगे कौन सा वेस्टर्न साइड ऑफ अरुणाचल में है कौन सा ईस्टर्न साइड ऑफ अरुणाचल में है यू कैन गेट अप वो याद नहीं रहता द पॉइंट इज वाइल यू आर मेकिंग योर नोट्स यू शुड आल्सो यूज सम गूगल एंट्रीज एंड देन सी कि ओके दिस इज व्हाट इज देयर यस करेक्ट द आंसर इज वन ओनली दिस इज वॉट हैज बीन आस्ड इन योर टू दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज आस्ड इन योर यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन इन टू 16. नहीं सच में इजी है एक ही एलिमिनेट करना है और थोड़ा भी आइडिया है बुंदेलखंड कहाँ है मालवा कहाँ है ठीक है यू हैव टू एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन फोर इफ यू एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन फोर सी दिस इज मुंबई दिस इज नासिक दिस इज पुणे मालवा इज बिटवीन राजस्थान एंड एमपी के पास ठीक है राजस्थान एन एम पी के पास यू हैव मालवा सो इफ यू कैन एलिमिनेट इफ यू कैन एलिमिनेट दिस यू कैन एलिमिनेट दिस सॉरी आंसर इज सी सो पहली बार देख के लगता है कि नहीं पता आई वेन आई वॉज अटेंडिंग दिस क्वेश्चन नहीं पता आई वॉज वेरी स्कैड नहीं याद आ रहा आई आई एम नॉट एबल टू डू इट बट एन आई सेट ओके फाइन वेट अप्लाई सम लॉजिक कुछ तो लॉजिक होगा एन आई वॉज मुझे बाकी नहीं पता पर फोर गलत है फोर गलत है तो आंसर इज सी Two and a five only. So this is the one. Okay. So eliminate option four. You can attempt. The paper is not about knowing too many things. ठीक है. The paper is also if you can apply logically. So twenty five thirty questions in prelims examination UPSC tries to give easy. The idea is we should have the wisdom to find that twenty five questions and okay I will do this. The rest I will keep on increasing my Uh, attempts as in the time passes so this was a uh, peninsula plateau the national park and the river kasi ranga manas silent valley kaveri uh, corbett ganga okay the question the national parks and the river flowing that has been asked answer can be b or d it cannot be c because corbett se ram ganga pass hoti hai okay jim corbett se ठीक है आई एम नॉट टेलिंग यू टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू टू अंडरस्टैंड कैसा क्वेश्चन पूछा है रिवर्स एंड नेशनल पार्क पूछा है रिवर्स और ग्लेशियर पूछा है बेसिकली सोर्स पूछा है ग्लेशियर्स एंड दी सोर्स सो जेमू से मनास आती है क्या सियाचिन से नुब्रा आती है क्या चिनाब अगर इवन इफ यू डोंट नो ऑल ऑफ देम अगेन इफ यू डोंट नो ऑल ऑफ देम बट इफ यू नो दैट इफ यू नो दैट ओके चिनाब कहाँ से आती है यमुना कहाँ से आती है दिस इज गिवन इन योर एनसीआर टी ओनली is given in your ncert only if you know this right and if you know this manas kahan se aati hai or if you don't know manas ye pata hai ki zemu se kya nikalti hai theek hai so then you will be able to uh, solve the uh, questions at least you will arrive at a 50 50% chance if you arrive at the uh, 50 50% chance the point is the point is not solving the question now the point is river and national park has been asked the point is river and the source have been asked so in our chart we said rivers you said source we said important feature uh, the other question that have been asked is on uh, also on the uh, tributaries okay the famous place and the river this is this is not a geography question if you look at this this is a history question theek hai and how do i say if you have read medieval history You have read, read medieval history, and if you have read Vijayanagar Empire, 
अगर आपने मिडीवल हिस्ट्री पढ़ी है और आपने विजयनगर एम्पायर पढ़ा है विजयनगर का कैपिटल वॉज हम्पी इट वॉज देयर ऑन रिवर टुंगभद्रा तो दिस गोज रॉन्ग इफ दिस गोज रॉन्ग द आंसर इज वन सो पॉइंट इज ये ज्योग्राफी का क्वेश्चन ना लगे अगर हिस्ट्री का क्वेश्चन लगे तो आंसर एंड इट्स वेरी इजी राइट सो दिस एंड दिस हैज बीन दिस आल्सो हैज बीन अस दिस हैज बीन कवर्ड दे हैव आल्सो आस्क्ड अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द ट्रिब्यूटरीज तो आपके चार्ट में इंपॉर्टेंट रिवर्स द सोर्स ट्रिब्यूटरीज डैम्स एंड स्पेशल फीचर्स अगर है फॉर योर मेजर रिवर्स यू आर फेयरली डन विद योर सिलेबस फॉर योर मैपिंग ऑफ दिस Also asked a question on Tista. Now look at the options. They have asked, "Where does it come from? Which is its tributary? Where does it flow? And which is it going to get? What is its source? What is its source? Where does it originate? Which is its tributary? So understand that options are being asked. Another question is that glacier or we have seen this. We have already seen this. So for you, what is important is making a chart of rivers. Which is the source? Which is its tributary? Which is its 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 source? Uh, dams and your important feature if you are done with it you have you can fairly cover your and if you want to further test it to upsc ke questions hai try to see the questions of nda cds and other examination you will be sufficiently prepared so this is from my side